Uh, all the attention turns to who will coach Collingwood. It's not your normal job, Kane. And I want to get your reaction to Ross Lyon. He sat here last Wednesday and answered the questions. And uh, this is what he had to say yesterday on radio in the middle of being grilled about his interest in the job. It's not something I've considered. I locked the counter. I've been very strong saying, I don't think I'll ever coach again. And that's, as I said here today, that's how I feel. That's how I see it. It is nice. We've all got an ego. It's nice to be mentioned in dispatches. So I heard this live, Hutch. Yeah, he can't be considered to be a coach if that's his language. So we've got coaches. There's probably 15 untried assistant coaches fighting and scrapping, wanting an opportunity just to be interviewed for a job like this. We've got premiership coaches like Mark Williams who would do anything for one last chance. And then we've got... Ross Lyon, and nothing against Ross, we're all speaking about him, and he's saying, no, I'm done with coaching. So, so that's it. If I'm Collingwood, I need more conviction from the coach that I'm hiring. It's about passion as much as it is about smarts and intelligence and running a footy program. You've got to want to do it. It's a massive job, and I'm not hearing anything from Ross that suggests he's the man. It's become a bit cool, though, to sit back on jobs and wait to be wooed, and that... That seemed to be the language. He's not definitively saying he's out of it. He said last Wednesday here that he would sit down and talk to them. So He said he's done with coaching. Uh, that's enough for me. I'm, as I no, sit he right didn't now, say I'm, it definitively, Kane. Well, I th I th the words that I heard were, I'm done with coaching as I sit here right now. Do you need to be belting the door down to do it? Or can you be talked into it? We've seen some... Mis you know, Malcolm Blight was talked into coaching St Kilda at the time. and We've seen coaches wooed, but generally you'd... It doesn't go that way. Uh, I suppose um, for, for Ross, who's been in it for what? How, how many years would Ross have coached? 15 years. So I think for someone like Ross, he, he's got to sit back like Kane saying and weigh up, do I really want to go back into it? And I think there's no doubt he is that racing through his mind. Part of him wants to coach. Part of him has probably enjoyed the year that he's had and his new yep. fresh challenges. But no, I wouldn't rule him out based on that. What do you think, Caro? You sit next to him uh, every Wednesday night? I think the competitive juices still flow pretty pretty hard through Ross Lyon and I think that um, I agree that it, it's not over the line but I think once a club goes after you and there might be two clubs going after him perhaps I mean Carlton would be the sort of club where you would see Ross Lyon as a better fit I'm, I'm just not ruling him out and nor am I ruling out Alistair Clarkson for Carlton either. Mm. Just on that Caro so you uh, Ross Lyon sat here Wednesday night and said Collingwood they're going to go Alistair Clarkson's the man and all yep. those sorts of things and you spoke about him potentially not coaching, or have you, your gut feel, was it? Well, my my, my feeling is that things aren't perfect at Hawthorne, yeah. and I'm not sure that he'll get a new contract. Look, they're saying he probably will, but until he does, I am going to say he is a candidate for a club like Carlton. I'm not saying he would walk out on a contract, but if Hawthorne don't want to go with him mm. at the end of next year, maybe he'll leave early. So you're saying, though, do you expect him to coach Hawthorne next year, though? Well, I I'm, I'm still think there's some doubt over it. Mm. I've well, always well, After listening that. to Clarko over the weekend, I think there's no doubt whatsoever. The, the well, I'm contracted at Hawthorne next year, and I think I've spoken about this. You know, the, the, this this happens uh, has happened every year, I dare say, for the last ten. I don't say that in an arrogant fashion. Every time that there's some sort of movement in it with a coach, my name is linked to it, and I haven't moved for ten years, and I don't dare say I won't be moving this time either. I still don't believe Alistair is definitely at Hawthorne next year. That, and I'm so saying you, that could be a Hawthorne decision saying. as well. No, I'm not doubting what he's saying, and I don't think it'll be Collingwood. I think if you were someone like Alistair Clarkson, you would think twice about a club like Collingwood when they're in the middle of a political turmoil. I really but do. But don't you see, he, he seems like he's all Hawthorne. It's all, unless, unless they were to walk up to him and say, sorry, Alistair, your time's up, I just don't see well, how he goes why back. Why haven't they committed side. to him yet, then, Lord <laughs> They're clearly yet to commit to him, mm. as he is to them. Well, We're at round 13, yeah. Matthew. Let's yeah. just see how the rest of the year... he's a coach next year. He's committed for yes. next year, yeah. Well, yes, he is. But, but I think he would want another contract at the end of yeah. this year. Yeah, but, but, but that's, still, that's still 20, what, 40 games away. There's no way he goes into next year uncontracted. It, he, he either goes in extended... Mm. So or, you think he'll, he he'll put that on them and at the end of this year and say, I know I've got 12 months to go, but unless you give me an extra one on top or two... I'll, I'll go and look yeah. elsewhere. History says when there's movement in the market, those with a year to go get flushed out either way, don't they? Chris That's Scott has says. also said again that he's at Geelong next year and, of course, Adam Simpson, we found out the other day, actually extended his yeah. contract last year and they didn't tell anyone.